to a shooting that closed down a major freeway along I-205 and surrounding streets. Police investigating, but still not sure what led up to it. That gunfire shut down the freeway, Sandy Boulevard, and Killingsworth, all in northeast Portland. Our Tim Becker was on the scene shortly after it happened. He's in the newsroom now to tell us exactly what happened. Tim? Well, two people were hurt, neither of them seriously, but we still don't have any idea who might have pulled the trigger. The gang enforcement team was on scene, though, after it happened, and I found out one of the victims thinks they've seen the suspect before. I asked, what's going on? Well, she got shot in the hand, so I was like, oh, my goodness. When James Massey pulled up to the scene, this 1996 Chevy sedan was already empty. Its windows shattered by bullets, and a woman on the nearby grass had a bleeding hand. So I grabbed the best thing I had on me since I have a lot of kids. I grabbed a diaper and ran it over to her and put it in her hand, wrapped it up, and waited for the paramedics to arrive. She was extremely upset. She kept, she kept repeating over and over, I, I just got shot. Oh my goodness, I got shot. I have shot. She was pretty freaked out, so she said she was surprised she didn't get, you know, shot in the head, so, because it, it, the uh, bullet did hit her seat, the headrest of her seat. This witness tells me she heard three shots, saw the victim's car in her mirror, and eventually circled back to the same scene James Massey found with the woman, her bloody hand, and a man who was in the car with her. When I had walked up, she kind of made a comment to those of us that were with her that um, she had seen the guy before, like they were watching or staring at him, so I don't know if he was pulled bes up beside her, but um, that she had seen him before. I didn't find anyone at the last address registered for the car that was shot at, and police are not saying if the victims knew the shooter. The gang enforcement team on scene, though, a hint that this might be yet another visible case in an epidemic of gang-related gun violence in Portland, the worst we've seen since police started keeping records. They say the suspect's car was last seen speeding away northbound on I-205. When you know that it's that close, it's kind of unnerving to, you know, hear those and not know where it's coming from. Tonight, we're still not sure if the woman was actually shot in the hand. I say that because one witness overheard police saying she may have been injured by the shattered glass. But again, both people in that car were taken to a hospital. They had injuries, but both those injuries non-life-threatening. Jeff, back to you. Okay, Tim, thank you. Now